All right, guys, Dokkan time again. Today's how to build is going to be for the Seda, the super easy A um, for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, he's not what we wanted him to be. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Really, really not. I love I love Super Saiyan 3. I love the Dragon Fist movie. This just wasn't it. Um, we're going to go over the build. But as you can see on the right side of the screen, that is the suggested how to build. Top right hand corner is the suggested amount of dupes. Anything lower than that, your mileage will be very, very underwhelming. Um, most of his kit is straight up in his passive now. They did not change his super attack. They only changed his passive. That is all. They did not increase his super attack. They did not make his leader skill better. Wait, did they? No, 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 they did not make his leader skill better. They literally only changed his passive, so he still only has immense damage, greatly lowers defense. He does not raise attack and defense on super, and he still has a mediocre 70% lead of AGL type. So, with that all being said, let's go over his kit. Um, the kit is key plus two attack and defense 200, performs a crit on the first entry turn. Super class allies get a critical hit chance of 20%. Extreme class allies get a 10% um, crit chance for three turns from the entry turn. So on turn four, if you got him on turn one, um, that buff no longer applies to anybody. Uh, plus an additional attack and defense of 150 for five turns from the entry turn. Another additional um, 150 and high chance of launching an additional super for seven turns from the entry turn. And then plus an additional attack and defense Plus 100 when performing a super attack starting from the 8th turn. That, yeah. Um, medium chance of evading enemies attack. Plus an additional chance of evading enemies attack by 30% before attacking. So before attacking, he has a total of 60% chance to dodge. Um, and then he gets another defense of plus 150 and high chance of performing crit for 3 turns after an evading an attack. Now, I'm not going to bore you with going into a fight because the fight's going to look really good, but it's going to look really bad at the same time. So, first of all, I'd like to talk about all of the teams he's on. Like, he's on a lot of teams, but look, look, look at this. There is, other than the standby of the STR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, there is not a single unit he is going to share links with that's going to be viable enough um, to tag him along, in all honesty. Um, Y'all can defend the teeth coup, gum coup, whatever, if you want, um, but I don't... It, he's no longer good enough for ninth content, specifically. So, this is more kind of ranged towards JP players. Global players will be getting this EZA um, later this week. Um, his EZA comes out on what? E his Super EZA is supposed to come out. Okay. Super Easy A comes out on, like, the, let's see here, the 21st or the 22nd. Um, it's later in the week. So at the time, some people are probably watching this after he released. But he's just very poor. He looks good for seven turns. Uh, for seven turns from start of turns, he looks fine. But I'm going to tell you all right now, if he doesn't dodge, if he doesn't dodge and get this 150% buff right here, He's going to look so underwhelming, it's going to be disturbing. Um, and once you hit the 8th turn, and this is the only buff that would be applied from his passive, you lose... <laughs> you lose 300% attack and defense after turn 7. You lose 300% attack and defense. You could be playing any game on the planet, and you could hear those words, and you realize, that sucks. <laughs> Like, that sucks. Um, it, it really is unfortunate because JP players have finally gotten longer challenging content from the Blue Zone and Boss Rush Challenge. I mean, it's enjoyable. It is. It's, it's super enjoyable. You cannot take this guy into it. You just, you're not going to get it done fast enough. Um, at least I don't feel like you could outside of running the absolute most broken team on the planet and you're one-shotting every phase. Other than one-shotting every phase, then no. I mean, this guy's going to get you caught. Um, he's 100% a dodge build because if this doesn't proc down here, the defense of 150 and the high chance to crit for three turns after evading, um, it's just going to be painful. 
especially once he loses that buff after that uh, that three turn, because here's how it'll work. It counts the turn of, and then the third turn in. So that means on his first two appearances, like, okay, so turn one, you dodge, cool. That turn, and then on the second appearance, he will have that 150% defense, and he'll have that 50% chance to crit. But that third appearance in, by the third appearance, one, three, five, so on the fifth turn, um, from the fifth turn, you'll be, uh, you'll still have this 150 buff right here, but you'll lose this 150 buff down here. Um, it's, it's just gonna, <laughs> it's gonna look really bad. It's gonna feel really bad once you lose both of these buffs, and then when this wears off, and it's just gonna be so painful. Um, he's very good. He's very good for seven turns. For seven turns, he can hit like 14 million freaking attacks. He can triple super. I mean, he looks good. He looks good. But he absolutely needs to dodge. And if the fight goes longer than seven turns, you're going to hurt. You're going to... He's going to get you killed. He's going to get you killed. That's that's a 100% fact. Um, so the hidden potential build is 100% going towards full dodge. Um, I don't... I wouldn't bother with any, maybe attack orbs would be okay in the bronze slot. That'd be fine. I could understand that. Um, defense orbs are just worthless. I mean, he's going to be a dodge or die character. Uh, we can take a look at Halvard's calculations over here. Uh, the, you know, it's not terrible. You know, he can hit up to 1.3 million defense with a support unit on the turn giving him that. More than likely, if you don't have him rainbowed, um, he's going to be below the 1 million. His start of turn defense is 700k. Yeah, yeah, that's great. The, the problem being is that JP fights are doing a lot more damage. And this is also for the first uh, seven turns. I don't know why he put the first five turns. Um, but for the first seven turns with evading an attack. So if you don't have the evasion, uh, the evasion buff on there, if you don't have the five and seven turn buff on there, you're just going to be hurting. Your defense is going to be mediocre. Um, so yeah, defense-wise, he might look solid on paper, but in practice, once the turn count is up or it's on a bad turn where you didn't dodge, so you don't have that buff, um, and you just get caught from even a normal, you could be hurt. You could be hurt. But I will say that his damage is very good. I will say his damage is very good. Um, hopefully, I can just start this right off the bat. I, I was going to say I'm not going to throw him into here. Okay, but we'll <laughs> let's try to get him on turn one, not waste our time going into turn two. This team is one of the only teams I'm willing to try with this Super Saiyan 3 Goku because he just doesn't really mixture with much because of over in the flash. Um, other than over in a flash and uh, Golden Warrior, he doesn't have any extra key links. He doesn't really get too much. I don't think he even gets any key in his passive, did he? Did he get key in his passive? Does he get key in his passive at all? He gets key plus two, right? Yeah, 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 so he gets key plus two. So he'll be at key plus eight, which is fine. Key plus eight is something. But you still need to get four key spheres at least. Um, I, I, I forgot to turn off the intro, so sorry about that. Um, but he's a dodge or die character. He has to dodge. He has to dodge. Um, I'm going to try and hope that everybody here dodges or tanks. <sighs> I'm really hoping so. Specifically, I'm looking at this LR Trio. This LR Trio, I'm hoping that they do. So I'm just going to throw him into slot one, like in all honesty, because th that's the way it is. He needs to dodge. And as you can see, we're not going to have... He's only got six links. <laughs> He's only got six links, so that sucks. Um, over in the Flash and Lemon Breaking form will not be activated, unfortunately. I kind of wish they were. Uh, attack 10% up, more attack, and then key plus three. He plus three, if he had over in the flash, he'd be right up there. He'd, ar he'd already be good to go. Um, as you can see, he would already be at level 12. So you have to get three key no matter what. Yeah, on paper, he doesn't look bad. He's got 300k defense start a turn. Um, here, I'm really hoping that... Freaking, we're not just going to get destroyed right here. Okay, dodge. You need to dodge, my dude. He did not dodge. You see... See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. He has to dodge. If he does not dodge, you're just... Okay, there we go. Woo! 14 million attack stat right there. 14 million, and he auto-crits on the first turn. 
A double super, 14 minutes. See, he looks really freaking good. Right off the bat, right off the get-go. Please dodge. Okay, good. So that, that's what I'm trying to say is, like, he needs to absolutely dodge. Right now, he's okay. Defense-wise, he's full. his passive is pretty much fully activated. Um, so he could have tanked. He probably could have tanked the super after dodging, actually. He could have tanked it. Um, so, but my point is, it's like, you saw how much damage we took because he took a normal before dodging, right? That is what you're going to be looking at after turn 7. After turn 7, he has to dodge or you're just doomed. Um, they gave him a 30% boost to dodging in slot 1, basically, because he has 60% chance to dodge before attacking, which is fantastic for AoEs coming in. But outside of the first 7 turns, I'm, I mean, you throw him into slot 1 from turn 8 onwards, and you're possibly just going to die. That's just how that goes. But he does hit very hard. He does hit very, very, very hard. He really does. And that's good. It's always good to see that he actually hits pretty bloody hard. Uh, 14 million is nothing to snuff at. Um, I'd say it's very good, especially for global content. Global-wise, I mean, how much... Yeah, we, we massacred his health bar on the last turn here. Um, but at the end of the day, my issue is just dodge or die. I don't have good dodge luck. So that, that is what it is. Every single one of these units have to dodge. Like, for dodge advocates, this is a dream team right here. Just dodge, right? Just dodge. <laughs> just dodge, right? But then when you don't dodge, you're just dead. My point is dodge or die. Um, I, 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 like, I like the unit. I do. I like him. I like Super Saiyan 3 Goku. He's one of my favorite uh, character forms in the, sh in, the, in the manga and anime. But I think they could have done better. I think they could have done better. He's a great, fantastic looking unit um, up till turn eight. And then after that, he just falls off so hard that he literally will cost you the run. But once again, dodge or die. It's dodge or die. 100% full dodge. The only reason additional is up on the screen to my right over here is because that's, um, that's the max amount of additional you can have without pumping crit into him. Uh, so yeah, that would be my highest suggestion is go full of dodge with him because he just he has to dodge He has to no choice whatsoever um, Everything else he's he's already double. He's already double supering in his passive um, He's got built-in crit um, He is double supering right? High chance of launching an additional super attack right here Yeah, so he's got double super pretty much um, And then he can potentially triple super if he triple critted, dude, that'd be fantastic. He'd be doing crazy amounts of damage. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, no point in putting crit into him. No, no point in putting in crit. But, anyways, guys, let me know what you think of the Seiza, the super easy A for Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day and a good night.